In this video, we'll talk about gas gangrene. This is a bacterial disease which is caused by the bacteria Clostridium perfringens. If this disease is untreated, then it might lead to severe symptoms. The injured tissue in this disease produce foul-smelling gas. That kind of justify the name gas gangrene. Let's look at the symptoms really quickly. So there could be skin discoloration, blackening of the skin, characteristic black bubble lesion in the, on the skin. There could be foul smelling discharge from the lesions around the skin. And that is why the name gas gangrene. Other than that, there could be swelling, necrosis, numbness on the affective site, fever, etc. One important feature about Clostridium perfringens, it can produce endospores. And endospores are really resistant to extreme environmental conditions and they can thrive in any situation. That means they are resistant to starvation, acidity, temperature or even desiccation. And this makes them pretty much untreatable because they are resistant to many antibiotics. Now, this lesion is also known as uh, myonecrosis. That means a necrotic damage to the muscle tissue. And this is caused by the exotoxins which are secreted by Clostridium perfringens. The bacteria is an opportunistic pathogen. That means whenever uh, there is a breach in the skin barrier, the bacteria can enter the skin and cause severe damages. And this was pretty much common in early 20th century where in the battleground, the surgeries are done in a non-sterile situation. That leads to invasion of these bacteria in the wound and causing gas gangrene. So the spores of Clostridium perfringens can germinate in the open wound and can produce cytotoxic factors such as alpha toxin and the theta toxin. Alpha toxin has hemolytic activity that means it can rupture the RBC and theta toxin can damage the blood vessels. All these things lead to a reduction in blood flow to the infection site. Now this has consequences because when blood flow is reduced in the infection site, the immune cells are not able to reach that infection site and cannot combat the uh, pathogens. That means the immune effectiveness is reduced by damaging the highways. So in an anaerobic environment, the Clostridium perfringens can grow really rapidly and ultimately it's an optimal situation for its growth. One important factor that uh, discriminates these infection site from the other infection is the type of discharge. Unlike other anaerobic infections where the discharge is pus filled or purulent, in this case, the discharge is sweetly putrid. That means this discharge is uh, uh, clear and it's thinner because it leads to a lot of death of neutrophils. The toxins can be carried in the circulation because already the capillary walls are damaged. It becomes more permeable to everything. Toxins can enter the bloodstream and can ultimately travel to another organ such as kidney and can cause uh, damages to that particular organ. Ultimately, this is involved in shock, renal failure, or intravascular hemolysis. Clostridium perfringens is also a common cause of acute food poisoning throughout the world. CDC estimates that 1 million illness are reported every year in United States altogether. Now, let's talk about how we can uh, detect this particular bacteria in a laboratory settings. So first of all, these bacteria are gram positive. After that, they can be cultured on blood agar plate and they would show a characteristic double zone of beta hemolysis. And that's pretty much determines their presence. And you should also consult your doctor immediately when you have this infection or you think of having this infection. Doctor might prescribe several antibiotic cocktails that can help to heal this infection but if there is delay or ignorance that might lead to severe situations such as a uh, kind of amputation there are hyperbaric uh, treatments but there is a debate in the effectiveness of this kind of treatment anyway high dosage of penicillin and doxycycline has to be administered for this kind of diseases anyway you can get all the notes and flashcards for uh, 
these topics in my Facebook page, which is provide the link is provided in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can support my channel on Patreon. My courses are present in Unacademy, which is India's online learning platform. Using my code AP10, you can get a 10% discount. Feel free to connect uh, via social media. I'll be happy to answer your questions and happy to chat with you guys. See you in the next video. Thank you.